Hello everybody, it's me, Zim Killer for you, and this is another Yu-Gi-Oh! Structure Deck. As you can see right here, Structure Deck. This is Power Code Link. Is it? Yeah, Power Code Link Structure Deck. Pretty much this is not the first Structure Deck for Links, but it is the next one. Uh, I saw the first one. It had other stuff that wasn't actual Structure Deck. Like I had Cyber Dragon in it, which would have been good if my... Uh, Cyber Dragon deck, as you can see here, my Cyber Dragon deck, you know, uh, you know, like this kind of deck right here, Cyber Twins and stuff. I, like, to me that seemed kind of weird, and then it had, like, other stuff in it, like a black hole, and stuff seemed like, it didn't seem like a structured deck, really, it just seemed like a beginner deck for Duel Links, and that's not, to me, that's not really what I want. So this one is about Cybers, like, the, uh, deck of Cybers. Now, before I open up it, I already have a couple of Cyburst cards already. As you can see here, I got two of the same driver nuts and then Cyber Beacon. I will go over it later. But I was saying, I already do have some couple of Cyburst ones because I was trying to get some Link Duel stuff, but I never did until recently. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up this bad boy. Okay, so let's go ahead and open it up. Now, this channel is just going to be me opening the card packs. Or if you want to see me actually use them, that would be my other channel, which is called Zombie Killer For You, not just Zombie Vlogs. This is my second channel. I'm just trying to get my vlog stuff and everything like on a different channel so it doesn't seem so clustered. Alright, so the first thing we see here is a giant plastic bin. Alright, looks like that is it. Okay, so first off, let's go look at this. That is the beginner's guide. Uh, this is the newest summoning method, which is dual links, or link monsters. So I will actually make a video of it, but the, but the extraction guide will be actually in the next, uh, will be in a video, but it'll be on my other channel. Like I said, this is just for purely unboxing. Piece of plastic. All right, let's go ahead and look at this. Uh, this is gonna be the dual mat it comes with. All right. All right. As you can see, uh, under looking my eyes, this is what it looks like. It's made out of paper, and then this is what it looks like. On the back, however, it is a. Uh, it shows you all the different ways of link summons and stuff like that. But I'm not going to show. This is different from Pendulum and all that stuff. So, like I said, it'll be in another video. But this is definitely. It's not that bad. So, what I'm planning on doing, like my Cyber one, is going to have it. Like, go to Hobby Lobby, something, make them flatten it out, put it on a poster board, and then I can just put, put it off on the walls. You know, pretty cool. I'm just putting that in my thing where my Cyber Dragon one is. Okay. So next we're going to be going through the stuff. This is the uh, boss monster. Alright. There we go. I'm not, I'm going to go, I'm going to get the boss monster last. Okay. Boss monster is pretty much what the deck is about or the deck's strongest monster. Or what the deck is going around, you know. First card is the dual, is the dual links. Talking about dual, dual, I like it, but I just wish it would be five lanes instead of three. And they just now got the synchro. It's gonna be a while till they actually catch up. So, huh. okay, first card. Yeah, hold on. Let me just do it like this. First card. Ooh, it's a link one. Oh, okay. So both of them had links on it. So this one is called Lan. For Nietzsche's, it's a Cybers. You know, I just put my cards right here. It's a Cybers. Uh, Cybers is an, a new type of Yu-Gi-Oh! Type of card. Uh, if, if it was zoom in. If it was zoom in, that'd be great. Whatever. See, it's, it's a, it's a uh, 1,200 attack. No defense whatsoever. It's a Link Monster, but like I said, I'm just unboxing it. That'll be to my other channel. 
This next one is Traffic Ghost, which is also a Link monster, and ooh, that's good. Well, it requires three monsters, but well, one has eight hundred attack, not that too good. But hey, it's a it's a monster. <laughs> okay, next card, Debunk, which is a trap card. Ah! When a monster effect is activated in the hand or graveyard, me get the activation and banish the card. Hmm. It's actually really good against uh, stuff like uh, Dark World. They want to mostly you put in cards from the hand to the graveyard and then special summoning it. This card, nope, banishes it. Next one is a trap card. I know this one. Reckless Greed. Uh, you draw two cards from the top of your deck, and then you skip your next two draw faces. It's really good if you want to go ahead and go through your deck fast. This is what this deck is about. This deck is about getting you set up ready, and then just drawing and drawing. Because this also has Pot of Greed, I believe, and like other drawing cards. And Surf Screen Kit. So this is going to be like a fast-paced deck. Which is totally opposite of my last one, Cyber Deck, which is a whole lot different. I got Cyber Deck and Cyber Burst Deck. <laughs> Like I said, this deck is supposed to be like fast paced, trying to get trying to get out and stuff. I don't even need to look at this one right handed. This is Quality Haunted. You summon, special summon a moss in your graveyard and attack position. Not that too bad. And next is, I don't know this one. It's called Safe Zone. It's a continuous trap card. I'll show you the picture again, just in case if you do know it or you don't know it. Activate this card by targeting one face up attack position monster on the field. It can be yours, it could be the opponent's. That face up monster cannot be destroyed by battle or your opponent's card effects. Your opponent cannot target it with card effects. Also, it cannot attack the opponent directly. And when this card leaves the field, destroy that monster. When that monster leaves the field, destroy this card. Hmm. Hmm. So, pretty much. As soon as I put this card on the field, it pretty much protects a monster pro from pretty much anything and everything. Pretty much protects it from everything, but it can't attack directly. I mean, I guess that's pretty good if you have like a certain card you want to keep out in the field of, you know, as effect as like destroy one card on the field. That's awesome. You can have zero attack points where you can destroy one card on the field. Might as well keep it every turn. Next one is Trap Stun. Uh, if you see my cyber video, you will notice this one. This one is negate all other trap effects on the field this turn. Okay, okay. Next one is Blazing Mirror Force. There's like seven different types of mirror forces. Some of them are spell cards. Some of them are trap cards. When the opponent monster declares an attack, destroy as many attack position monsters your opponent controls as possible. And if you do, take damage equal to half of the combined original attack of those destroyed monsters. And then, inflict the damage to your opponent equal to the damage <coughs> you took. So pretty much, uh, if they attack you, you destroy all their monsters. And then you take damage to half of the attack of all of them. So if you have two blows white dragons on the opponent's side of the field, they both... They attack you, you destroy them, since they're both equal to 6,000, you go to 3,000. So you take 3,000 worth of damage, and then your opponent takes 3,000 worth of damage. So if you have less than 3,000 uh, life points, you can't use this card. Or if you do, you die. But then again, you can also use this as a draw, too. But not entirely, because... You take the damage first and then the opponent, so that means if you run out of life points first, you, you lose. So that's the saying you can't use this as far as draw. You can kill you can kill the opponent with it, but that's a different story. Okay. Uh, Trapix Trap Hole Nightmare? You know, is a Trapix Trap Hole Nightmare. It has like a bunch of spiders. I wish I would like zoom in. I don't have that too good of a camera. Oh, what am I doing? I should type with the phone, not the card. Is it? Is it the light? Oh, y'all can't see anything. Okay. 
um, pretty much when a monster that a special summons this turn activates X effect when your opponent's field negate that effect if you do destroy that card. Oh, so it doesn't matter if somebody summons a monster. They can only it can only be special summoned, and then when it uses its effects, and then you use it. So it's not bad, but you just if they summon a special summon a normal monster, then that card's worthless. Wild Tornado! It is a trap card. It looks it's a tornado couple tornadoes in a canyon. Pretty cool. Target one face up card in the spell trap card zone. That means I saw it's a pendulum. Like I said, Link Monster is gonna be a little bit different. Now your pendulum cards, pendulum monster cards, if you use that as a pendulum zone, it's now in your spell and trap card zone now. So now you can destroy pendulum monsters with it now. Which you still could back in the day, but everybody was being confused about it, but it, now they changed it. Then this controller can set one spell trap card from their hand. If this set card is the shortest sent to the graveyard, target one face up card in the field and destroy that target. Oh! So pretty much. If you have it on your field, you can use it to destroy one set of trap, and then your opponent was put down another set of trap to replace it. Or you can have it sit on the field for the entire game and wait for somebody you you know destroy with an MST or something, and then you can destroy one card on their side of the field. Awesome! Ooh, we got packet link. Well, it'd be nice if the short card would actually show. Okay, as you can tell, it looks like from the scene from a little uh. Little chicken, chicken, chicken little, chicken little, with the skies falling. That's what this looks like, to me at least. Uh, during your main phase two, after you attack, special summon any number of level two or lower monsters with different names from your hand, deck, or graveyard to your zones. And Link marks the points to. Ah, you can only activate once per turn. Okay, so pretty much what that means, I'm just doing it because. Yeah, probably wondering, is that a good card? Uh, pretty much, when you have this on your zone, it's gonna be in front of your monster card zones. You got these three arrows pointing downwards. That means you can, with this card, you can special summon level two or lower monsters, or three of them, at least three. So that's cool. At least three with the uh, boss monster. I don't know yet, but it's probably three as well, because it's not that many four or higher ones. So that's cool. I have a potential of uh, summoning three lower two monsters. Ooh, now we're going to the spell cards. If y'all have seen Dual Academy, then higher, you should know what this one is. Terraforming. You get one spell card from your deck and add it to your hand. It's pretty cool. I don't know what the field spell is, but it's pretty cool. Da -da 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 -da. One, one for one. Another spell card. It's a normal spell card. I wish my phone will actually Fog Focus. Yay, iPhone. This is definitely iPhone for you. Uh pretty much it's a uh looks like a lotus monster coming out of a uh, a samurai type of monster. You know, one for one. Send one monster from your hand to the graveyard. Special summon one level one monster from your hand or deck. I'm gonna keep this one aside on the side because it says one level one. It's like how many? Because my dragon nets, they're level three. Okay, is there any other ones? Level two or lower? Let me put that over here. Special summons, traps done. Okay, like I said, I'm putting the level required ones over here because level ones, those are kind of rare. Next one is. Fires of Doomsday. I have this card. I didn't know this was in here. It's a quick play spell card. Pretty much what you do is special summon two Doomsday tokens. Zero attack, zero defense, and the defense position cannot be attributed if I attribute summon unless it's for a dark monster. You cannot summon other monsters. They turn to activate this card, but you can normal set. So pretty much is it is also a quick play. So if somebody's going to attack you directly, have it face on your field, use this, summon two tokens. Pretty cool. I actually, I actually like it a lot. And that means this turn, since it's the opponent's turn, when it comes back to your turn, you can summon again. Okay, so what is this one? Reasoning! Ooh, I haven't seen this one in 40 forever. I don't even have it. It's a, a spell card. It's a normal spell card. Uh, 
Your opponent declares it monster level from 1 to 12. Excavate the cards on top of your deck until you excavate a monster that can be normal summoned or set. Then if that monster is the same level as the one declared by your opponent, send all excavated cards to the graveyard. It's not special summon the excavated monster and also send the remaining cards to the graveyard. Wait, wait, either ways? Wait, what? Excavate cards in front of your deck until you excavate a monster that can be normal summoned slash set. Then, if that monster is the same level as the one declared by your opponent, send all excavated cards to the graveyard. If not, special summon the excavated monster and also send the remaining cards to the graveyard. So, pretty much all this is, I just say reasoning, and then pretty much he just summons, he just says any level. And then I just keep putting down cards until my first monster comes up. And then any other cards will just go to my graveyard. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. But like I said, this deck is supposed to be like fast pace. I yes. Yes, thank you. Okay, so that was me, Mother. Swords of Villain Light. I don't even have to... I don't even have to read it to know what it does. Pretty much is you just put it down on your field, activate it. You got three turns. For those for those three turns, in the end phases of your opponent's turn, they cannot attack you. So pretty much, this will save you from attacks for three turns. I love it. I, this is my fifth one, and guess what? Each of my main decks I have, like my Performer Pal deck right here, it has Swords of Real Light in it. My Cyber deck has Swords of Real Light in it. My Fairy deck, Swords of Real Light. All my decks have this card. I love Swords of Real Light. It's a scapegoat. Woo! It, it is scapegoat. One of my favorite cards. Well, one of my favorite spell cards, at least. Scapegoat. It is a quick play spell card. You use it. You summon four tokens. Boom, 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 boom on the field. And that pretty much saves you four turns, or at least at least a turn, at least. Maybe. Unless they have like Arts Fiend or you know, some of that text all cards. Then you're just SOL, but pretty much it's pretty good. It's the same thing as the uh as the Fields of Doomsday, the tokens. This summons two. This summons four. So Escape Goat is my favorite card. Favorite spell cards. Forbidden Jealous. I also have this card. Pretty much is equip it to the uh, equip it to our monster. It gains 400 attack, but its effects are negated. You're probably thinking, whoa, 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 that's just way too good. Like, is this supposed to be good or bad? Hold up. Okay, so let's just say... Performing Pal. This is the first monster I can think of. First monster. No, 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 no. No, wait, no, wait. This would be a better one. Cyber Twin Dragon. It can attack two times a turn. So, if you put this card on him, he will gain 400 attack. Makes him have 3,200, but he cannot attack twice. So, if you use Scapegoat on him, and he only has Cyber Trend Dragon, except for being two, two turns, then he attacks. It'll be four turns, then he attacks, because he can't attack twice with Cyber Trend Dragon, because his effects are negated. This card, you make a monster stronger, but they can't use their special abilities. So, kind of like you have uh, someone who can't be destroyed, like Marshmallow. Put this card on him, and then he can be destroyed, because his special ability makes it where he cannot be destroyed by battle. Put this on him, make him a little bit stronger, then you can kill him. It's good, but you also have to be careful, too, though. Looks like we got Offerings to the Doomed. I have this card, but I don't like it. Target one face up monster on the field, destroy that target, and then skip your next draw phase. I mean, like, this is a good card, but this is a good for destroying a ultimate card. Oh, I don't even have a good one. Oh, jeez. Like, I don't even have a good ultimate card. Um, There we go. There we go. This is my cyber deck. Okay. Okay, if they summon this bad boy, he can have the potential to get 50,000. Well, I'm not even... I need to close that. 
he pretty much gets rid of all your monsters in the graveyard and on the field. He gains a lot of attack points. No way, I have a better one for that. He, he has his potential to get 5,000 attack points easily, but having like five monsters on your side of the field, especially summon him, he has 5,000 unless your mon unless your enemy is doing uh, uh, machines as well, he can get even more. Then use Megamorph, double his attack points, and then use Limited Removal, double his attack points again. Then you have him doing 20,000 20, attack, potentially, 20,000 attack. He attacks. Guess what? You can just use this card to destroy him. But it will save your butt. Because he will then attack anything and everything. But this card will save you. But you cannot draw your next turn. So I'm just saying it's a good card. But it's... It has its drawbacks. Oof. Okay, next card is Night Beam. I've never seen this one before. It has a couple cards in a Cyber City. Then it has a laser shoot, not one of them, then it's separating. I don't really know what that's about. Target one set spell trap card your opponent controls. Destroy that target. They have a spell trap card? Destroy it. If it's set, your opponents can activate targeted card in response to this card's activation. Oh, uh, so pretty much Night Beam destroys a card and your opponent cannot do anything about it. Kind of like Magic Jammer. Some you summon this card to destroy that card. They can't use Magic Jammer. Uh uh. Mm mm. -mm. That card is destroyed no matter what you do. Next card is the Field Spell. Ooh, it has a pretty decent. I like the look of this one. Cynex Storm. It's like a digital field, and then it has like a purple tornado, blue and purple tornado. It looks pretty damn good. It's a Field Spell. Woo. All Link's monsters on the field gain 500 attack. Link summon, wait, Link summons of Link monsters cannot be negated. So they cannot, can, like if I summon this card, they can't use Trap Hole. They can't do anything. It's summoned. It's summoned. You can't do anything about it. Once per, that's how it goes to the opponent as well, too, though. Hmm. Once per chain, if you take 2,000 or more battle or effects damage, meaning. Like I say, if somebody attacks me, I can't just use this effects to use it. I have to put a, I have to use a trap card or a spell card and then use this card. So I have to use some type of spell or trap card. All right, let me see. Okay. Okay, like Blazing Mirror Force. If so an opponent attacks me, I can't use this card unless I use a trap card like Blazing Mirror Force. You know, to negate your attack and then I take damage. But you remember when I said take damage, take damage of 2,000 or more, which this could easily do 2,000 more damage. And then summon, then use this effect. I can't just use it, I have to have a, some type of chain. It has to be on, I have, I have to take damage, not the opponent. You can shuffle the face down cards in your extra deck. Which is my Link Monsters. So I shuffle them. And then excavate the top card. And if it's a Cybert's Link Monster, summon it. Otherwise, return to the extra deck. So pretty much if they attack me, I use the Mirror Force thing. I take damage, they take damage. I took over 2,000 damage. I use this Cyanet Storm. Boom. I, ask, I use my two top two cards. I use this one. It's a Cybert's. So I get to summon it. <clears throat> it's pretty useful, I guess. It's a good way to summon my uh, Link Monsters, but the thing is, though, I don't have any good. Uh, I ha do have some Link Monsters, but they're Ultra Geist and Dragon, and not that's not any of it. <laughs> Looks like we're getting into the monsters. Woo! Alright! We're getting to the monsters now. This is called Launcher Commander. It is a Cyber uh, 4 star. 1,500 attack, 1,200 defense. Not too bad, but not too good either. All other Cyber's monsters you control gain 300 attack slash defense. Once per turn, you can tribute one Cyber's monster, then target one face up monster, your opponent controls, and destroys it. So pretty much, you summon him, tribute one other monster, 
Destroy the face up card. Pretty cool. Next one is Cosmic Compass, which is not a Cybers. So I may switch it out for one of my other Cybers ones. Depends on if it's good or not. As a level one, like this card is four. This card can summon him. When this card is normal summoned, you can special summon a number of compass tokens up to the number of monsters you put in controls. Okay. Okay, so I see the potential on this. <laughs> so, if you, if your opponent has two monsters, you can summon Cosmic Compass, summon two tokens. You can use those two tokens to link summon Traffic Ghost, which is not that too high of attack points, but is an extra monster you can put out. And you can't put them in defense form, defense form, but at least you have four monsters instead of, well, you can pretty much have four monsters and then... Except for having one. So, this is pretty cool. Actually, never mind. I realize Link's something you have to take away. Still. It's just a way to get another thing out. And, one for one, I can summon him, like I said. Send one monster from your hand to the graveyard. Especially summon one level one monster from your hand or deck. So, if you're going down and your opponent has five monsters, well, use this card to bring this card up. Is it special summoned? Wait, this card can't be special summoned. Ah, uh, so you can't use that. This, is, this card can only be normal summoned. Not special summoned. So far, not, don't particularly care for it. Magical Merchant. I have not seen this card in 40 forever. Wow. Wow. It's a level 1, so I can summon it. Excavate the cards from top of your deck until you excavate a spell or trap card. Then add that card to your hand. Also send the remaining cards to the graveyard. So pretty much just makes it where you can search out for a spell card and then all the other cards will be put in your graveyard. Good and bad. Yeah, it just depends. Next. It's also a flipped effect. So it can be face down, flipped over, destroyed, and then whatever. Next one is not a cypress either. It is a tuner though. Is there even synchros in here? No. Then why are you giving me tuners? I only have two synchro monsters and they're out of all of my entire decks. Okay, so it's, it looks like a fairy, but it's a spellcaster. Zero attack and zero defense. What is this? What is this? What is this? During your opponent's main phase, you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard. Then then target one. Effects monster your opponent controls. Negate its effects of that monster your opponent controls until the end of the turn. Oh, okay, so if somebody summons a monster with really good effects, send this card to the graveyard and negate its effects. Look, whoa! Whoa! Blue Eyes Shining Ultimate Dragon destroys all cards on the field! Nope. Kinda useful. Next card is not. It's not a Cybers, but it is a tuner. It's called Gen X Alley Birdman. 1400 attack, 400 defense, level 3. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. You can return one face up monster you control to the hand. Special summon this card from your hand, but banish it when it leaves the field. It also gains 500 attack if the return monster was a wind on the field. Okay, so if you have a wind monster, you can bring it back to your hand, bring this card up, it will have 2,100 attack. But it leaves the field. So, I, it, it is a tuna, so I'm guessing if I have any tuna monsters, I can just put it in my extra deck. I guess, I don't know, that's the second tuner, but it doesn't have any synchros. I guess Cybers does have a couple synchros. Then, then why even have it? Then again, it's not even a Gen X monster, so it's probably just an extra card. So I'm probably take it out, because it's said for wind type. So far, no monsters are wind type. So I probably just take it out and add it and add one of my other Cybers cards in it. Okay, so this one is Phantom Sky Blaster, uh, level four. What? The 1100 attack, 800 defense. It's a fiend, not a Cybers yet. 
But it is a Fiend, and I don't have that many Fiend cards. And I was trying to do a Fiend deck because I got some really good Fiend cards, but... Mm. When this card is normal or flip some, you can special summon a mini number of Sky Blaster tokens up to the number of monsters you control. So I summon him, I can immediately summon another token. But if I had more than this monster, when I summon him, I can summon more tokens. Okay. Uh, the level fours. Oh, so I can use like XYZ summons because I can use tokens. That's cool. Uh, once per turn during your standby phase, you can inflict 300 damage to your opponent for each guy blaster monster you control. Ooh, that, that actually counts as tokens because tokens are called sky blaster tokens. So if I so if I just summon him, summon another token, I can do 600 worth of damage. Damn! That is pretty darn good. That is pretty darn good. Okay, next is not a sunny burst. It's called Goblin Burr. Goblin Burr. Zero defense, but 1,400 attack. Pretty weird. I know my phone's blurry. It's kind of weird. Uh, when this card is normal sum, you can special summon one level four lower monster from your hand. Also, after that, change that change this card to defense. Oh, okay, so I can summon him, and that's, I, I was going to say this card, but this card has to be normal summoned. So I'm going to pretty much summon another level 4 monster, and then I can XYZ summon. See, I don't, but then again, it's also probably wanting you to do, uh, like, cyber decks, you know, having link monsters, but I do have a lot of XYZ level 4 monsters. Okay, da -da -da -da. guess what? Not a cybers. So far, I haven't seen a single cyber, <coughs> single cybers monster other than Link monsters. Skullmeister, seventeen hundred attack, four hundred defense. Not that too bad. Level four. He's like a, a dark warrior type of deal with a slash on his face, and there's like skulls everywhere. Pretty cool. Fiend effect. When a card effect is activating opponent's graveyard, you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard to negate its effect. Oh. Same as the other one. Oh, man. You're gonna... That's a card effect. It doesn't have to be a monster effect. It's a card effect from the graveyard. Oh, so if you're going against, like, a... Fan Phantom Blades? I think that's what it's called. You know, they, they mostly go use uh, graveyard effects. So when this goes up, you're gonna get it. But it has 1,700 attacks, so... It has a decent attack, though. Another non cyberst monster. Reborn Dingu. I love a four. Wind! My first wind monster besides... Uh, it's like, I'm probably going to take that tuner out. Beast Warrior. Effect. When this card leaves the field, special summon one Reborn Dingu from the deck. So far, I only got one. What is that going to do me? <coughs> Never mind, got another one. Well, that's two cars. Like I said, they're trying to get rid of it, but it says leaves the field. That's the same might destroy it, so I can use it as a Link Monster in XYZ. Then I can, send an, I can summon another one. Why is this in here? I mean, this summons tokens, but I have other, I have other Mecha Phantom Beasts. I have other Mecha Phantoms. Uh, pretty much what this card is, pretty much, it's they're all about summoning tokens and then like stalling out the game or using it to XYZ or Synchros. It's really, really weird, but you have to set it up so it's kind of not that good. <coughs> That's why nobody uses Mecha Phantoms. 1700 attack, 1200 defense. All it is is just helicopters out in the sky. It's all machines. Uh, if this card is normal summon, a special summon. One token. This card's level is increased by the total levels of all Mega Phantom Beast tokens you control. Yeah? Okay. Okay. Uh, when you control a token, this card cannot be destroyed by a battle or card effects. Once per battle, during the damage set, with this card by his opponent's monster, you can achieve one token. This card gains 800 attack. 
so it can have a potential potential of having 2,500 attack. Not that too bad. Not that too bad. Pretty good, honestly. Next card. Oh, look at that. Not a Cybers. I haven't seen a single Cybers. It is a Fiend, a 700, wait, 1700 attack, 1300 defense, level 4. I haven't, I haven't really seen any level 1s or level 2s or lowers. Like, so far, I am having a mi misfit here. So far, most of this stuff is summoning tokens. It's like, that's cool and all, but where's Cyber? So far, this was a Cyber deck. Unless it's not. Unless I've been doing this all wrong. Probably have, I don't know. During either play, there's battle stub, quick effect. You can special summon this card from your hand. And if you do, you gain 1,000 life points. I are you love this card. Oh, look, we're having a battle. Boom! 1,000 life points. Uh, You can only use the effect once per turn. You can tribute this card, then target one fist and once you control it, gains 1,000 attack until the end of this turn. It's a quick effect, meaning, let's just say you have this monster attacking him he attacks him i special summon this card i gain a thousand life points i tribute it to make him gain an extra thousand attack points but i can have three thousand five hundred oh my god oh this is a troll card that is definitely a troll card i like it next finally a cyber gadget a cyber monster woo Level 4, light, 1400 attack, 300 defense. Not that too good, but it has a lot of effect on it, so hopefully it's good. When this card is normal summoned, not special summoned, only normal, you can target one level 2 or lower monster in your graveyard. Special summon in defense position, but effects are negated. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can special summon one gadget token, level 2. Zero attack, zero defense. I can only use this once per turn. So when it leaves the field, I can summon a token. See, this is all about summoning tokens and stuff. Oh, look at that. Cybers, level four. Storm Cypher. Wow. It's level four, but it has 2,400 attack, but zero defense. Oh, my God. Cannot attack directly or attack monsters in the extra zone. Well, I don't like them now. They can't attack directly. And if they have a uh, monster in the extra card zone, I can't attack it. So if that's the only monster they have, I can't do anything with them. Unaffected by monster effects, activated in extra... Oh, but they can't affect him either. Hmm. Cannot be destroyed by battle with monsters in the extra... I kind of like him. So pretty much if they have a monster in their extra card zone and summon him, they can't do anything to him and he can't do anything to him. That's pretty cool. Okay, next one is another Cybers. A level 4. 1900 attack, 600 defense. I ain't liking Cybers so far. Once per turn, if this card battled a monster in this battle phase, you can... Immediately after this effect dissolves, so normal summon one cyber. Wait, what? Right, wait, what? Once per turn, if this card battled a monster, this battle phase, you can. Print, uh. Parentheses, quick effects, colon. Immediately after this effect dissolves, normal summon one cyber's monster. What? Oh, I got it. I had to read further on. So, this is a good attack, but I don't think... Okay. <laughs> this card is only good depends on if your opponent uses a trap card. Now, let me go back. Okay, so if I have this Antialian, attack the opponent, which is you. You use a trap card. I have to... This card, if it attacks a monster 
affects a monster and use a trap card to destroy my monster, then... Wait. It has to... This is... Okay, so what I'm getting at is that it's a really situational. Okay, I attack your, I attack your monster. It is destroyed, or it was in defense position. I couldn't destroy it. Whatever, I battled it. Then you use a spell, a trap card, or card effect to get rid of him. After I battled your, battled you, then I can summon normal summon cyber monster from my hand, and then I can draw a card. So that is very situational. I don't know if I like that, but it does have decent attacks, so I'm just letting it slide, but that is very situational. It took me a while to realize what I was saying, but it's very situational. Hardly ever works. Now the Cybers. Garbage Collector. Level 2. Finally seen level 2, but I've only seen one level 1, and it's, it can't even be special summoned to do its suspect. So like some of these cards I'm probably gonna get rid of to put in my other Cyberus cards. I can target it has 100 attack but 1900 defense. So this is a defensive monster. I can you can target one other Cyberus monster you control that began the duel. Wait, began the duel in the main deck. What? Oh, that means Main deck is talking about these, not talking about Link monsters, it's talking about these. Okay. Return it to the hand. If you do, special summon from you that one cyber monster with the same level but for a different name. Ah! So this card is only good in the beginning of the duel. So let's just say I have this in my hand. So I summon this guy. I end my turn. You do whatever. If he's still on the field and it comes back to my turn, I can summon him. Get rid of him so I can special summon another level 4 and put it onto the field. I don't know what that's for. But I don't... I I guess that's if, you know, you have a trap card on him where he can't attack, switch it out. Or have a different effect or at least, you know, search your deck for a card. I think that's what he's going for is for like a searching deck type of deal. But so far, I haven't really seen any level 1s. So I don't see why I got 1 for 1. Never mind. It's a Cybers. Data Corn. Level 1. So I got 2 level 1s in my deck. One of them I can't even use for Special Summon. Oh, this one can. If this card is Special Summon, you can Special Summon 1 Data Corn token. So pretty much, especially summon him, I get a token out. So pretty much this is what one for one is. So one monster from your hand to the grave, you're summon one level one monster from your hand or deck. Especially summon him, and then get a, get a defense token. Which is also level one. I don't have any level one XYZ. Wait, yes I do, but it's ghost trick. You can't use that. Da -dun -da -dun. Lady Debug, it is a Cybers. 1700 attack, 1400 defense, level four. Oh, look at that. It's kind of reflective. Sweet. If this card is normal or special summoned, you can add one level three or lower cyber monster from your deck to your hand. I can only do this once per turn. So every time this the ladybug goes on the field, I can I can special summon a level three or lower. Pretty good. Pretty good. Flame Buffalo. Buffalo. Okay. Buffalo. Uh, it is a cyber fire level three. 1400 attack, 200 defense. Look at the, this card looks really cool. It's like a bull and the horns is fire. That is pretty cool. If this face up card leaves the field, destroyed, tributed, whatever, leaves the field, you're gonna discard one cyber monster. And if you do, draw two cards. Damn. I need to have more of these. Damn. Next card. C Arch Archiever Cyrus level three water. 
It's also reflective. Sweet. 300 attack. But look at the defense. 2100 defense for level 3. That is pretty darn good. If a monster is no more special summoned to a zone... Wait. To a zone and link monster points to. You can special summon this card from your graveyard. If if it was there when the summon revolved or hand. Even if not. Banish it. But banish it when it leaves the field. Okay. So pretty much when I summon a link monster. I can special summon this card from my hand or graveyard to wherever it points to. Pretty cool. That's pretty cool, but banishing one leaves the field, but I got a couple anti-banishing cards to bring it back to my hand, or if I do need it. Oh, I think I found the boss monster. What? Huh? I need it. Um, let me finish. You know, I can pause it, whatever. Okay, sorry about that. I had to go for a second, so now I have to edit the video. Damn it. Okay, so I think I just found the boss monster of this deck. Cybers, level 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's a level 7. 2600 attack, 2400 defense. I, I do have a monster card in here that makes it go up 1000 attack points. You remember the Juegu? The one gives me 1000 life points, I can also do 1000... Attack points. <coughs> so this is the potential of doing 3,600. But however, the field spill and plus the other monster. So that's about 800. So that'd be 4,200. Attack. Potentially. Potentially. To Cybers. That's a light. So I do have a couple light cards I can do that protects them. Okay. I can no more summon a, or set this card without shoot beating. But its original attack and defense become halved. Once per turn, if this is normal summon to set on the field, I can destroy this face up card and destroy all monsters and monster main card zones with attack less than equal to the attack this card hand had on the field. Oh. So, like, say, if the enemy has a lot of monster cards but it has less than 1,300 attack, I can normal summon it without cheapening. And then I can cheap it this card and destroy it all of it. Or I can tribute summon two tokens, send him out, cheap it him, destroy all monsters in the monster main card zone. Well then again if I increase its attack, it'll go like the like like I said, three thousand six hundred no, with the other ones, is like I can increase his attack and then then tribute it so they destroy any monster out. I don't like it. I do not like this segmental dragon. I do not like it. It does have the highest attack points I've seen so far, but however, I do not like it. It just says normal summon. It doesn't say anything about special summon, so I have to bring it back from the graveyard to my hand and then tribute summon it again. It's just, no, I do not like this card. Unless I can bring it back to the hand. Or once it's special summon it from the graveyard. It's just, I don't like it at all. It is, it is a foil. It, it's, it has a golden name on it. It's the boss monster. I don't like it. I'm going to see how to use it on, you know, not duelings, but like dual generations. Or uh, other, the actual, like the anime. And see what they how to do it. Or, you know, just on YouTube and stuff. Like, I don't see how this card is good. Like, it has the potential to destroy him. Have a 2,600 attack, and so is him. But does it say equal? Yeah. Yeah, so pretty much, I can tribute him to destroy him. It has the same attack, but it's the same thing as attacking him. But it would also destroy all the monsters he has. But it's not an extra card zone. Which is stupid. It's just. I can see how. To me he's like a bad version. Well he's he's like a dark hole. A stupid dark hole. This is how I see him. Dark hole you just put down a spell card. Destroys everything on field. That's it. 
He only has attribute summon two of them. So that means if you have one monster on the field, no tokens, you can't just you can't just set him out on the field to destroy everything. No, it's he's just a stupid version of Dark Hole. That's all he is. I don't like him at all. He is a cyber, so I may just use him, you know, in the deck and all. But I'm probably not going to use him right. I do not like him. Last but not least, Power Code Talker is the boss Link monster. Hopefully, is better than Segmental Dragon. I don't like it at all. I'm kind of bummed about it, actually. Okay, it's so a Link monster. It has arrows pointing this way, that way, and that way for some reason. It requires three monsters to bring them out. Anything. Tokens. Anything. As long as they're monsters. And that's it. Once per turn, you can target one face-up monster on the field. Negate that target's effects until the end of the turn. Oh! So I pretty much summon him, and then I can negate any monster effect. I won't. Okay. Once per turn, if this card battles an opponent's monster, during the damage calculation, I can attribute one monster this card points to. If this card's attack, wait, this card's attack becomes double's original attack during that damage calculation only. This card is hell a lot, a lot better than this card. This card sucks. This card, boom, right here. So pretty much, you have to summon, use one of your monsters down, like. Bottom left side. So you pretty much always special summon a token on that side. When this battles a monster, just shoot me that token. Just shoot me it. Just shoot me it. Boom. Bye bye token. Bye bye. This card becomes 4,600 instantly. If you summon the tokens all the time, that shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, GB1 monster. But it only affects, happens if I target an opponent's monster. But this has an effect of. 4,600. This one, I just shoot it to destroy monsters in the field. It depends on his attack points. But maybe if I, like, give him an equip card, normal summon him to have 1,300 attack, and then put, like, Axe of Despair on him to make him have 1,000 extra points, so 2,300, and then cheat it, maybe? But this card sucks. I don't like this card. It has no rhythm to what it is. Like, maybe with the mecha or something, summon... Or, like... Wait, what? Yeah, so pretty much I can just set him on the field, flip him over, and then I can... It's just... I don't like it. This one, I just need three monsters. Three of them on the field. Three. And then, it's real. I like this card. I have it. I don't like Segmental Dragon. Okay, so, that was, you know what? I've noticed I didn't even see any of my other Cybers cards in it. So, I'm going to take out some of the cards I don't like, and then put these cards in it. My cards, I have two of the same ones, so I'm just going to show you the uh, sparkly one. Draconet, Cybers, 1400 attack, 1200 defense, level 3. See, it's kind of sparkly-ish a little bit. With this card, is normal summon, special summon, one level to a lower normal monster from your hand or deck in the defense position. I don't have any normal level to a lower monsters at all. I only have one, and that is the people running about. It sucks. So, I don't know. But it is also... From hand or deck, so I can just summon out in the field to you know decrease my deck size. But I do have two of them. I don't know if I like it because it didn't come with any level two or lower monsters. I don't know what's happening, but that's just not that's not going well. So I got another Cybers Beacon, which I may put in it. If you took damage by battle or opponent's card effect to this turn, uh, one level four lower Cybers monster from any deck to your hand. So pretty much, oh man, I took damage. Well. I get to summon. No, I get to bring a card from my decks to my hand. Alright. That's cool. 
Okay, so that was Cyber's look. I'm probably going to take one for one out because I don't actually have any good level one monsters. Like, honestly, the only good one I have is Datacorn. That pretty much summons me a token. No, literally, my, that's probably my only other level one monster. Nope. I got Effect Veiler, Magical Resistant, and that. So I have a total of four cards. But this one has to be normal summoned. This one has to be flip something to do its effect, but I don't like its effect. Uh, this one works for my hand. And so this is the only one that can actually be special summoned and does something. I don't, I don't like it. Like, I don't particularly care for this deck, honestly. I should have went with the other one. But, the main reason I got it is for the Link Monsters. Mostly for this guy. I got do got some pretty good uh, pretty good cards in here, but like I said, just power code Tark is the main one I wanted. Alright, so thank you all for watching. I'm Zombie Killer for you. And this was a Power Code Link deck. Don't like if you're trying to get his boss monster, and trust me, the boss monster is not that good. Comment down below if you know how to use this card correctly. Please, it's a boss monster. I want to make sure I do it right, but so far it's worthless. The only thing good about it is its attack. That is it. That is it. That's the only thing useful as good as this attack. Maybe as good for like death marshmallow you can't be destroyed by battle. You use it, and then do it. But besides that, it's very situational and not that good of a situation. Okay, so thank you all for watching. I'm Zombie Killer for you. And this is Zombies Vlogs.